Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today is a really exciting video for me. I have a bunch of new product laid out in front of me um, and I'm really excited to try it out with you guys today and to kind of introduce it. A lot of this product is like brand spanking new, which is really exciting. We're gonna dive right in because we have so much stuff to look at here. Um, so the first um, brand we have new product from is Urban Decay. I absolutely love Urban Decay. Um, I'm a huge fan of their naked palettes, of their setting spray, um, like the All Nighter. Some of the newer product from them is really exciting. Um, the first thing I'm going to be trying on today it, from Urban Decay is the All Nighter Face Primer Longwear Foundation Grip. It's supposed to prep, smooth, and perfect. Our lightweight formula goes on sheer to perfect your skin, leaving it feeling smooth, hydrated, and lightly and slightly lifted. Primer boosts your foundation staying powder so it looks fresh for up to eight hours. We will test that. Preps the skin, giving it a lifted feel and a hit, a hit of hydration. By helping to reduce fine lines and erase the appearance of pores, all nighter is a no-brainer step in your uh, prep routine. So it is saying it's gonna raise pores. The All Nighter line by Urban Decay, I'm sure all of us know by now um, that it's amazing. It really does work. Like their setting um, sprays are great for, for long wear. And um, so that is really exciting that now they have a primer. I'm really excited to try this and I'm hoping it does smooth my pores better than that IT Cosmetics despite the fact that it is very like kind of sheer formula. I'm going to start by applying that with my fingers. So it comes in this packaging, has the pump bottle, and it comes with one fluid ounce. When you squirt it out, it has kind of that texture. It is similar to that IT Cosmetics like in terms of it being sheer and not as similar to the Professional, where it has a more silicone-y feel to it. But when I'm looking at it, it does feel a little creamier and a little bit thicker. So we will see as it goes on. Okay guys, so I am pretty impressed because for a texture like this, it actually does help smooth your pores out a little bit. I would say it's not as good as like the Professional or like the Tarte smooth um, smoothing primer, but for a formula like that, I am pretty impressed. We also have from Urban Decay the All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. So I have two of the Urban Decay setting sprays. I have the All Nighter Pollution Protection. Then I also have the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. This is the one that is kind of a, has a cooling sensation. Now we're going to be trying today the Ultra Matte. So for somebody like me who does have oily skin, Ultra Matte, um, anything is great. Um, you know, especially on those days I'm feeling really oily. Um, so we will try that out today. Obviously I'm not gonna do that quite yet. I have a lot of the newer products from Charlotte Tilbury. I have Pillow Talk, a lot of the stuff from Pillow Talk, the collection, and um, I am really excited to be trying those things out. I have the eyeshadow palette. I have the two um, like lipsticks. I have the lip bath plumping um, like lip bath, and then I have the eyeliner. So because we're doing a lot of Charlotte Tilbury, I'm gonna dive into my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, which is the flawless, long-lasting um, coverage, um, and I'm going to apply that to my face. I'm like almost done this bottle, so I have to like use, get it kind of like it doesn't even come up the pump anymore, which is good. It's always good to like use up a product. I really like this foundation. It has good coverage and it really has that flawless feel. I'm gonna be using my beauty blender today as well. I really like that foundation because it is, it has like about medium to and buildable coverage but it's not like so full coverage it almost looks cakey so i really like that i'm really liking that in a foundation like i want it to be kind of mattifying and i want it but i want it i want it to have some sort of like natural like radiance to it do you know what i mean i'm liking a lot of the natural radiance 
foundations and I find this one has a little bit of that like you know it's 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 very flawless and I like that now I'm going to dip into using my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour cream kit so underneath my um, eyes I'm going to use fair I'm using a morphe g6 it's kind of like a kabuki style brush and I'm really going to just build that underneath here and I like to kind of pull it underneath my nose. I get a lot of redness and I want to brighten that area up. I'm going to go into the shadow and I build up some of that on my stipple brush and I'm just going to create that line. Now that I've finished my cream contour, I'm going to set my face with my Cover FX um, translucent uh, perfect setting powder um, and I am going to use a brush today but I'm going to you kind of bake my under eyes so I'm going to use my beauty blender today because my blendable is dirty right now one thing I really love the blendable I honestly do and I use it a lot the one thing that sucks for people that are lazy like me is I'm not good at remembering to clean things on time. Like, for example, for a beauty blender, half the time when I go to start my makeup, my beauty blender is dirty. But the thing that's okay with that is, like, I can just go and clean it and then use it. Whereas with the Blendiful, like, you want it to dry before you use it. So that's the one thing that sucks. And I find um, I would use it more. I just need to get into a habit of cleaning it right after or you know even if i do it like before i go to bed so that i can use it in the morning i did just realize that i forgot to contour my nose with that cream contour so i will just go in with a powder contour and then with i'm going to go into that same color and kind of um reinforce the contour with some bronzer here with a powder contour I like to do that it kind of also blends it a little better with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and then we're going to get right into that Charlotte Tilbury stuff because I'm super excited to be doing that today. Okay so I have brows. All right we're going to dive right into this Charlotte Tilbury stuff because I'm so excited. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. All right Pillow Talk. Like, Charlotte Tilbury has gorgeous products. Absolutely gorgeous. This is the Instant Eye Palette. It has four buildable magical Pillow Talk eye looks. It's so shiny, so honestly, um, I'm not gonna hold it up. There will be pictures here for you to look at, so you will see as I'm talking. Um, so you look at this palette here, and you see four different groups. So there are four, so there are three shadows in each group. When you look at the little um, plastic sheet here, it has a prime, an enhance, and a smoke for each um, grouping. You obviously can just throw that idea away and make whatever look out of all of the ones you want, and I'm probably gonna do that today. I'm not just gonna use one group. I'm gonna mix and match. When you look at the day section, so those are those three colors. They swatch gorgeously. They are pigmented through and through, like throughout the swatch. No, um, you know, patching, no, no pulling. Then you go down to desk. These are also very neutral and they are all matte. So you really get a variety of textures as well. You have Day and Dream, both have metallics and Desk and Date both have all mattes. Um, so you really get a good mixture. Again, absolutely gorgeous. These are all matte, as I had said. So I'm gonna really build those up for you guys to see. They really are creamy and they um, are pigmented. Like, look at that. 
Then you get down to date. So it's these bottom three right here. So it's kind of just three different levels of brown. Then you have dream, which is the last kind of set. Holy smokes. Like very gorgeous and super pigmented. That middle color in the dream is literally a dream. It wrapped all the way around my my hand. It's that pigmented. Like it pulled. Um, so there's a lot of pigmentation and spreadability with these. Um, very creamy. So I'm going to start with my Morphe E30 and I'm going to dive into, hmm, it's nice to kind of be able to just look at my my arms to see how which ones I like. Um, honestly, I'm going to start with in the day pod, I'm going to start with that mat. I'm going to start by applying that on my crease and really blending that out. So now that that's laid down a base, I'm going to go into middle, it is the enhance in the date kind of trio. And I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M40, M441. And I'm noticing there's not a, an excessive amount of fallout, which is always a positive to a, a shadow. That being said, I always recommend to tap off your excess because fallout doesn't necessarily mean a shadow is bad quality. Um, picking up a lot of product, having a lot of kickback can um, occur in a really good quality product. So when you do pick up a product, it does get a little bit of kickback, but it is not excessive and the fallout is minimal. These sh like shadows are also blending gorgeously and I'm really loving these shades. They're so like rich and really gorgeous. I think what I'm going to do, because I really wanna utilize these pinks in the dream section, I'm gonna go in with the matte pink. This is the smoke. I'm gonna use the same brush, but I'm really gonna to to tap off the excess because I just want to kind of warm up that outside and you're gonna layer it a little bit on top so we're gonna just build it slowly because I don't want to overpower that brown I'm not looking to just kind of lay it on top and like lose all of that richness in that brown I'm gonna go in with the prime of desk it is that kind of taupey brown I'm gonna kind of blend that out as well because I want it to be a little bit softer that line there without bringing it up too high so that definitely softened that all out what is this a Sigma large shader it's a very flat brush and I use this for lid colors I'm gonna start with the brush and see how it transfers and I might need to use my finger but no I don't think so so it's they're so pigmented you are able to use a brush and still get that boldness of the color I'm using the middle the enhance in the dream that really gorgeous kind of pinky metallic I think I'm gonna go in with the prime in the day <clears throat> I'm gonna use my finger because I want it to really be um, brightened up I love a good highlighted inner corner so it's gonna be my inner corner in here and then I'm also kind of blending it into my very inner lid to brighten that area up as well. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the brown again with that Morphe M441, and I'm just gonna pat that kind of just right here to reinforce that. I don't wanna bring go over top of that pink again. I'm just kind of making sure that depth is still there and reinforcing that color along the outer lid and on the crease. 
going to do is get a little bit more of that pink and just reinforce a little bit of that. Just literally that's all I'm going to do. And now I'm just going to blend again with my the Morphe E30 that I started with with no extra um, like no extra products. It's just blending. Blending what you already got there. I'm going to use my Morphe R34 because it is small enough that you can really just get in there. I'm just going to brighten that area right up. I'm going to start with that brown on the bottom and kind of smoke it out a little bit. That's the Enhance in the Date trio or whatever you want to call it. Right, I'm going to get some of that pink and I'm going to just the outer corner, like outer part, and then blend all of that out. Okay, so I really like this look actually. I'm gonna go ahead and add, do my Kat Von D eyeliner. Um, I'm going to apply some false lashes. I almost forgot, guys. I also have, sorry, I do have a liner from the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk um, liner. It is a very blendable, long lasting, and it is a very gorgeous like burgundy color. And I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line, on the outer part, kind of darkening what I already did on the lower lash line. It's gonna to go to about halfway. And then I'm just going to take Um, a flat definer and I'm going to kind of blend that out so it definitely um, is a gorgeous color and we will see how long that lasts. I'm going to apply on my kind of um, like I'm going to tight line my, uh, my top lash line It's obviously not going to be quite as dark on the waterline, but it it does that technique really does help um, your lashes look more um, like voluminous and thick. And then down here, it was gorgeous and it blended beautifully. Okay, guys, so I have my false lashes on. I'm done with my eye look totally. I feel like this would be very versatile for you know every day to more glam. So really pretty so we're gonna go into blush and highlight i have two new um face palettes from sephora so these are relatively new there's the gleam and the radiate and these are trio palettes so when you open them up this is what they look like i'm gonna be honest with you i was a little disappointed in the packaging just the outside looked so pretty like that water color i was hoping the palettes were going to look the same but they're just kind of basic just a black plastic with a kind of a clear plastic so you can see through this one is the gleam so you get one blush and two highlights per palette you get a nice bright pink blush and then you get a you know more champagne -y highlight and the brighter highlight we're going to swatch these as well so i'll show you on this hand that is the blush very nice and pink this is it's kind of a cooler tone pink as well which is really good um, this is the more champagne highlight very gorgeous so you see that there definitely um, buildable so you can kind of just apply a really light coat and it will be natural or you can apply a heavier coat and it can kind of be more noticeable and then this is i'm going to kind of go beside this eyeliner here that is the um, a little bit more shiny you see that so that's the gleam very pretty then you get into radiate and this one here is same setup. You get a matte blush and two highlights. And this is kind of a warm tone, um, but still very pretty. 
So on this hand here, I'll show you the Radiate palette. So this one is kind of a more, almost like apricot, kind of peachy tone blush. This is a more goldy champagne, whereas I found this one was a more like pinky, kind of silvery champagne in the gleam. So this is that highlight there, right in the center of my hand, very soft, it's just kind of a luminous do you see that it's really subtle and then you kind of can kick it up with this one still very gold almost more bronze do you see that one there right here so really pretty i'm gonna go i'm gonna kind of mix these up a little bit i am gonna use a little bit of both of the blushes because I want kind of an in-between. I want it kind of a neutral, so we're gonna add a little bit of a cool pink and a little bit of a warm apricot, and we're gonna get what we get. I'm gonna apply the pink first with my Real Techniques brush. These are, I have not used these yet, I've only swatched them. Very nice. And I'm gonna kind of tone that down with my powder brush, I didn't add any, I'm just toning that down a little bit. I'm blending it out. So once I added the Radiate Splash, do you see how it kind of mixed? So it's not too orangey and it's not too pink. Pink, <laughs> it's not too pink. So this side is more of like a pink. And then that side, it kind of warmed it up a bit without it being really orange. So I really like actually that mixture and I wanted to be able to utilize them both for you guys, for you guys to see them both being applied. So in terms of pigmentation, really good. They blend really well. So I'm actually really happy with the quality of blush. Next, we're gonna do highlight. I'm honestly more drawn to these icy highlights. So I'm gonna use those, not to say that these are not just as gorgeous. Um, I'm just not really looking for the gold vibe right now. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M530 into the softer highlight. And I'm going to first kind of apply, wow, that is still like very highlighty, like very glowy and luminous and definitely buildable. So that's really nice. So really pretty. I'm going to kind of blend that a little bit. And then just for fun, and because why not, I'm gonna go into the um, kind of um, more glam highlight. So if you can see there, um, that's the first highlight. So definitely added a little bit more glow, a little bit more like bam which is always okay. I mean, not everybody likes that, so you might be, um, more into the subtle, you know, middle shade. So those palettes are really pretty. I'm happy with those for sure. Um, I think it, the mixture of the blushes ended up matching perfectly. So we're now going to go on to the lips. So I have three products from the Pillow Talk line from Charlotte Tilbury. Where that one is? Um, I did. I do have two of their um, Pillow Talk lipsticks. So the first thing I have is one of their Superstar Lips Pillow Talk. This is not new. So this is a glossy lipstick. It has good pigmentation, but a really nice gloss. It is a little bit sheer at first, but you really build it up. And it is a gorgeous color. That is the Pillow Talk. Then you get in... Then you have, sorry, then I have um, the Pillow Talk Diamonds. So basically, this is just a very, it's like almost a highlight for your lips. See that? Um, a very light color, but you could use it kind of in the center of your lip as almost like a highlight or add like a full across like glitter to make it a more glammed up lip. So the nice thing about these lipsticks is they do have like emollient oils, which is going to help it go on smooth. It also has hyaluronic acid, um, which is going to hydrate, and then it has peptides. Then we have the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath. This is a lip gloss in the color Pillow Talk. So 
this is the newest shade and so the collagen lip bath is a high shine a sheer gloss the new collagen lip bath in pillow talk is a dreamy sheer nude pink lip gloss enriched with skincare ingredients for a kiss of glowing pillow talk magic get luscious fuller looking lips in a flash with a high shine gloss for an instantly kissable mirror shine pout um, and this is exclusively on Charlotte Tilbury's website. Um, a lot of this, um, like this pillow talk line is not brand new, but a, a lot of this product is brand new. So that eyeshadow palette, the liner and the lip bath is brand new. So it is very sheer. It has like almost like that peppermint smell. The applicator almost looks like a little heart. Do you see? It has a beautiful color, the original Pillow Talk color. It is very shiny and very sheer. So we're gonna kind of get, we're gonna use them all. Let's just do it. They're all glossy, so we're gonna have a very <laughs> glossy lip. And you can also get the lipsticks um, in, for Pillow Talk, which is something that um, I know is big. They're more of like full color and like the, um, you know, really pigmented. Um, but today we're gonna have a more natural lip. I'm gonna start with the Pillow Talk. Now I'm gonna take this Pillow Talk Diamonds and I'm going to put it right on the center of the lip. This is gonna add a bit of a like glitter and a, a shimmer and kind of accentuate the center of the lip and give it a little more glam and then I'm going to apply this lip bath over top to really just give it more shine okay so I really really like all these lip products um, the one thing I'd say I'm not a huge fan of is the applicator on this lip bath it's really different like I said it has that like weird divot in the center almost making it look a bit like heart-shaped I just felt like it felt odd and I feel like a doe foot applicator would have been just felt a little bit weird to me um, but in terms of the actual product it does have that tingling sensation but nothing too crazy you know it's not burning it's not really tingle like pins and needles it's just like a very light kind of almost minty feel on your lips um, I feel like it does plump I feel like they do look like plumper so yeah I'm really impressed with all of these products so far I'm gonna be honest I've just looked at my face and like my pores are not noticeable at all so this really does help with pore minimizing and I didn't even notice it this whole time I have a tiny bit of creasing underneath my nose that's normal I always have really bad creasing there but otherwise my face looks very smooth, very good. Um, like I'm really impressed with how this like minimized my pores. We are also going to see how this setting spray lasts. This is, it says meet the anti-shine secret weapon that works over time. The all nighter um, ultra matte setting spray weightlessly locks makeup place for 16 hours as all really other all nighter setting sprays do but it absorbs the oil of the skin surface controls shine and creates an ultra matte finish just the skin and keeps the makeup vibrant with no drying fading or settling into fine lines so we will see how that lasts if it does make my makeup look cakey or anything like that or like dry um, and if it keeps it matte I apply a lot of setting spray when I do because I like to feel like it's literally very even all over my face so um, yeah it it's gonna dry this a bit feels the same as all the other ones so we will see um, how that goes I mean my immediate reaction it doesn't look like it's any different I'm really 
liking this primer, guys. It's, my face looks so smooth. So, hey guys, it's 10.30 p.m. It's been about nine, um, nine and a half hours since my makeup has been um, applied and then finished. Um, so I'm really impressed with a lot of the products that I use today. I do have a shine that is extremely normal, especially at this point in time. Like I would have expected this amount of shine or worse. So I would say that the primer was definitely really good for long wearing. Like you can see pretty much everywhere looks still almost flawless, especially when you're not like right up close. Um, so like if you can look, my pores are very smooth um, and I do have enlarged pores. So for a primer to have that consistency and not have that silicone -y feel um, and you know, for it to have minimized my pores to that extent, like I felt like all day I kept looking at my makeup and I was like, ooh, like it's looking smooth. Um, so yeah, really impressed with this primer. I felt like it really did grip the makeup really well and I felt like it also was really good for um, just making the face look kind of perfect. The setting spray, I feel like I was impressed with it. I didn't notice like the largest difference in terms of like, you know, comparing to the all-nighter. Um, but I also am going to use it more often with different foundations and see. That being said, I feel like my makeup lasted really, really well. And even though I do have this shine going on, um, like I have been taking care of a child all day. And um, so, yeah, I feel like it, it really definitely wore um, the makeup wore really long and I didn't really develop a shine until the very like the last probably hour maybe hour and a half so this definitely i think is good and i'm going to continue to wear it and uh, try it out with different you know combinations to see how it really does work the eyeliner as you can see i don't know if you guys can see it's worn a little bit on my waterline but down here it is still going strong so really good like if you take a look at my hand I washed my hands like multiple times with diff like with hand soap with dish soap um like I wasn't scared to wipe it like and dry them and with a cloth and everything and it has gone nowhere so like guys this eyeliner is not going anywhere until you use like good makeup remover thank you so much for watching um I had a lot of fun with this video I really enjoyed all of these products I will see you guys next time Bye.